Our goal today is to complete the let statements and the system box on all of these problems. We're not going to solve them today. Like I said earlier, I know you spent three hours with iReady testing this morning, no calculating, but we are going to pull these word problems apart and set up the system. So are you ready? <clears throat> so problem one reads, an auditorium earned $25,000 in sold out concert ticket sales. Front section tickets cost $75 per seat and back section tickets cost $50 per seat. The number of front section seats is twice the number of back section seats. How many seats are in each section? The answer to this problem is going to be how many seats in each section. That also helps us know what our variables need to be. How many sections of seats are there? Two. And what are they calling them? Front section and? Back section. So we're going to let F equal front. And what's a variable we should use for back section? We could use B. Now let's go through this again and figure out what our two equations would be. An auditorium earned $25,000 Front section tickets cost 75. How much do back section tickets cost? So our first equation is going to be about the money. $25,000 equals the cost of a seat in the front section times F because we don't know how many seats those were, plus, what do you think should go next? Yep, 50 times B. Because back section seats cost $50. So this whole first equation is about the money. We know the total cost is $25,000. We know each seat costs 75 or 50, depending on where it is. The second equation is going to be about numbers. It starts here. The number of front section seats is twice the number of back section seats. That means front section equals 2 times the back. Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. How many times did I read through that problem? I, I read it through at least two times. And parts of it maybe even a third time to make sure I was pulling all the pieces we need. This word problem comes down to these two sections here. We want to come up with what a variable is going to be to represent the pieces we're pulling from this for our answer. And the equations come from the sentences. I would like to give you about 